Hello, this is Tawana. I'm going to be focusing on the sun sign of Virgo today. Thank you for watching the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tawana. I am clairvoyant. This is my third channel here on YouTube. I have been on here since 2007. And for those of you that are interested in shea butter, sage, or candles, you can go to my website. I also have other products as well, like health, hair growth oil <laughs> and um, lip gloss and clothing. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Virgo today. Your cards are falling today. That's definitely what's going to happen right now. <laughs> All right, King of Swords. Well, this no, this is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords today is someone in your life that is pretty much a hater. This is my hater card for sure. This is somebody that does not want you to progress in life. Person may not want you to, uh, you know, get ahead in any type of way. This person is talking about how you back. This is somebody that's definitely childish. And jealous of you for sure. But Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So let's take a look at what's going on here. All right. A lot of Virgos, I feel you—you you have been in some type of me mental prison about something that's bothering you here with the Eight of Swords. There is definitely a Queen of Swords in the past position here. And this is letting me know right now that you don't need to be around any Manali or Aquarius. And I also feel like there was a time when you were lacking some money too. You felt like you wasn't getting enough. There is some unhappiness connected to your situation today. And I feel like you're waiting for your situation to get better. Um, For those of you that or dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. These people do not trust you around this time. And definitely uh, a Leo does not trust you around this time. So I just want to, you know, put that out there. There's going to be problems with those, those signs that I just mentioned. Also, I feel like a lot of you are healing from things that you found out about. Stuff came out in the open, okay? Could be about a water sign or a Gemini that some of you might have been dealing with. Um, I also feel like when it comes to your love life, you have a lot of options for love, and I feel like with one of these options you have, you're pretty much sick and tired of it. You feel like it's just a burden and you're ready to walk away from it because it's just this person probably isn't. Hype. You're just getting tired of the way you're being treated, and you don't like this person's attitude about you. This water sign that you're dealing with, this person may try to come around, but you'll probably uh, stay separated from an air sign because of the problems that you're having with them. I need to take a look at your situation again and see how it's going to go. If you want to schedule a reading with me, you can text my phone. All my information is down below. King of Coins reverse. This is a scammer here. I always see this card as a scammer. Somebody, sometimes it could be a gold digger in your life, okay? Like, I feel like you'll make some type of decision today, and I'm going to clarify what that is, because things are not moving ahead for you. Relationship, for those of you that are near or in a long-time relationship, I feel like somebody is watching everything you do. This person is a spy in your life. Is watching 
and everything. Person that doesn't trust you, very insecure. I also feel like um, for those of you that, that are having money problems, I feel like that situation may turn around for you and you'll make some type of decisions about ending a relationship and getting your money together. I feel like you've been overworking yourself, but soon that situation will be over and I feel like you will stop going forward in the situation that was bothering you. A lot of you that might have had addictions, you're going to come out of that as well and start fresh. But the people in your life, I feel, I feel like you should leave people alone. Stop dealing with especially air signs and fire signs for some of you too. Water signs, they're just going to continue to be moody. I don't feel like they're going to change. Now, some of you may know a Libra or Taurus. That person may be thinking about you or you're thinking about them. I do see that situation going on as well. I definitely feel like a lot of you, a lot of you that are going through money problems, that situation may clear up faster than you think it is. Trust your intuition on a lot of things that you have been dealing with the last couple of days. Like you already know what's going on. Options that you have for love, they're not going away. You're confused about the connections you want to have in your life. But I feel like there's somebody that you are going to walk away from. Let me see who this person is. Because I see this person coming up. Could be the fire sign. Sagittarius Leo Aries. And I also feel like for some of you, you might be walking away from an earth sign like yourself. Even a job as well. I'm picking up that energy. In a relationship, you just got very bored with somebody, but they keep coming around. Especially the water sign. Water sign person has a very negative attitude. You may get tired of the, the, their attitude or they're getting tired of yours. Something that's making you very uncomfortable in the situation you're in. You're thinking about a divorce that you might have been went through, a relationship that went wrong, and how much arguing you was doing in that relationship too. But the money is going to come in to help you and you want to have less stress in your situation. I see coming up for Virgo around this time. I want to keep shuffling because I feel like I'm not done with this reading. Looks like there's still something to be said here. All right. Just too much hard work. It's like you're doing everything. Almost overworking yourself for situations. You've always had some type of issue going on with Leo. Okay, even when you were getting along with Leo, there was still some issue going on. <sighs> I talked about your addictions before, but I feel like the addictions are in coming in and out of your life. Okay, because you're going to tap into the addictions and you're going to tap out of them. It's like an off and on thing. For some of you, this is a Capricorn you're dealing with. Now, if it's a Capricorn that you're dealing with, I feel like this is a third party situation. Somebody that just wants to hang out with you on party, you know, you're drunk or something like that. But I don't feel like it's a strong connection. I feel like somebody might have an addiction to, you know, dealing with somebody. But at the same time, it's a toxic addiction here. And... Some of y'all might only drink when you're around certain people as well. But you'll notice that you're drinking more or that other person is drinking more when you're around them. There is some blockages here too because you're holding on to old situations. Which I feel has something to do with Gemini Libra Queers. Um... 
this fire sign that you deal with, I feel like there's some type of connection to this person, probably business, transactions, employment, something like that. And somebody you deal with is very insecure here too. I feel like this person is also a user, could be trying to use you, manipul manipulative, very manipulative when it comes to everything that they need. They might need stuff. They come around when they need you. Karmic partners are showing up here too, especially like Aries or Taurus people. Most people don't belong in your life at this time. And I feel like you've been telling people everything about you. You know what I mean? But at the same time, when you open yourself up like that and tell people how you truly are, you know what I mean? They might start to judge you and that's going to turn you off as well. So I just see a lot of different situations. Now, if you're dealing with Libra, I feel like that person may live far away. Maybe you have to travel to see that person. But still, that there's, there's going to be some type of issue between you and Libra. Aries, I feel like you may have a problem connecting with this person. You might not want to be around this person, live around this person. Or there could be some issue between you and that person for sure. You might want that person to change something about themselves. And if it's a towards person, I feel like you're not ready to cut this person off. But there's definitely a love triangle connected to the situation. It's not looking good, you know, and it's pretty much somebody that may try to ghost you or have ghosted you already. You know what I mean? And might have brought in some sadness. I feel like you're getting some type of justice somewhere else, okay? Even if you're angry or the other person is angry, you'll end up with some type of justice. You know what I mean? That person will probably always look back towards you. And I feel like some type of secrets could come out connected to you and that person. If you're waiting around for something to happen with you and that person, it may be some type of delay connected to that. Now... As far as you're dealing with water signs again, I feel like water signs may try to come back towards you later and try to help you out or something. Try to be there for you. And they may try to end conflict with you. But still, there's like some secrets connected to them too. And watch your air signs again. There's secrets connected to them. And I feel like if there's somebody with air and they try dealing with you, that person is acting like shit because they have so much secrets in guys have a good day that's the end of the reading here hope i helped you out subscribe to this channel comment talk to you later